Hi, firstly, I'd like to thank Adrian and Owen for organising this symposium. I'm Richard Colchester, Royal Academy of Engineering Research Fellow at University College London. And I've been developing more optical ultrasound devices for use in minimally invasive surgery. And that's what I'm going to speak to you about today. So at this point of the day, you must all be familiar with all optical ultrasound, but I'll give you a brief overview anyway. For all optical ultrasound imaging, ultrasound is both generated and received using light. For my work, uh, I do this using optical fibers as the substrate for the device, giving advantages in terms of size and flexibility. Ultrasound is generated via the photoacoustic effect. Light is absorbed by a coating at the end of an optical fiber, leading to a heat rise and a corresponding pressure rise, which propagates the sound. The reflective ultrasound signal um, can be detected interferometrically, in my case, using a fiber optic fabric row interferometer. Ultrasound impinging on the sensor causes deformations, which modulate the light reflected from the device. This reflection can then be mo monitored to give the ultrasound signal. One advantage of optical ultrasound that is of particular interest to me is the ability to incorporate complementary modalities, such as photoacoustic imaging or laser ablation, using the optical fibers that we already have in place. So one area that optical ultrasound is well suited for is minimally invasive imaging. Here, only small incisions are made in the patient and devices are inserted through them. This has advantages in terms of lower patient discomfort, reduced need for anaesthetic and short hospital stays. Now, several procedures are carried out this, in this manner, and it is used in a broad range of medical fields, including cardiology, gastrointestinal and pulmonary imaging. However, without a direct line of sight, surgeons need devices to provide imaging for both guidance and diagnosis during procedures. <laughs> And several, though several imaging, take, um, several imaging techniques exist and are currently used, including X-ray and MRI, but they have their limitations. All optical ultrasound is a promising alternative or complementary imaging technique for highly miniaturized applications. The advantages include its miniaturizability, high, high sensitivity and imaging resolution, immunity to electromagnetic interference, and the ability to integrate complementary optical modalities. I'm now going to briefly introduce some of the medical devices and applications I've been working on here at UCL, um, looking at two main imaging paradigms. There's a forward view, a head of the optical fiber, and side view, or follow to the optical fiber. So starting with forward view, um, a procedure known as uh, transeptal puncture is crucial for reaching the left atrium of the heart minimally invasively. And during this procedure, a, no a needle is inserted uh, into the femoral vein all the way up into the right atrium of the heart. Here, the needle is used to make a small puncture in the septum that separates the left and right atrium, allowing devices to be passed between uh, the atria. With Think colleagues, we developed a forward viewing all optical ultrasound device that would fit into a commercial transeptal needle. If you look at the image on the top right, that shows what the needle uh, looked like with the device inside it. The device was then tested in a preclinical setting uh, in vivo in a swine model. Imaging was carried out inside the swine heart and the heart walls were visible and displayed in real time. We can see in the video that it demonstrates the visualization of the left overall after crossing the atrium. And we can see it moving further and closer away to the probe as the heart beats and the animal is uh, breathing. Moving on from this, another application is um, valve imaging. Uh, so this is a particular interest in terms of diagnosis and guidance for valve repair procedures. Um, for this, a device was made to be used with a heart, a heart valve phantom. This device consists of a 600 micron core optical, uh, diameter optical fiber with a graphene and PDMS coating for ultrasound generation plus a fabric pro receiver. This is built into a steel hypotube. Um, and note here that the hypotube is actually quite a bit larger than it needed to be, but this is what we had available in lab. Then a heart valve phantom was used from Archetype Medical, which allowed for adjustment of the valve motion and heart rate. And the top photo shows the phantom with the probe in place and real time imaging was carried out inside the phantom. We can see the movement of the valve leaflets throughout the cardiac cycle um, and at depths which are visible at depths greater than one and a half millimeter from the probe. So moving on from forward viewing, we have the other paradigm of side viewing. This is of interest for looking at vessel walls and luminal structures 
uh, from many medical applications. And instead of looking ahead of the optical fiber, we transmit from a side surface. And this, this allows this imaging of the walls. So as a demonstration of this, we polished uh, optical fiber end surface to 45 degrees and coated it with a mirror so that the light from the fiber would be redirected to the side. We then built an epoxy cap onto this with an ultrasound generating surface and coupled it with an omnidirectional receiver. Thus, when we rotate the transmitter, we can receive an ultrasound signal uh, in a rotational fashion to build up an image. This was tested ex vivo with swine carotid arteries and real-time video was displayed um, on a computer as this was carried out. We can see the vessel wall and we had a look at the effects of using depth-dependent filtering to optimize imaging. And another application that we're now looking at for side viewing imaging is gastrointestinal imaging. And this is a project that I'm working with Dr. Sasha Normark, who spoke earlier. As a proof of concept, we've undertaken some images on human esophagus tissue. Um, and we're hoping to extend this to using a side viewing fiber soon. The tissue was uh, gathered by a clinical collaborator and brought to the lab very rapidly after being excised within one hour. The imaging had to be carried out quickly as the tissue degrades rapidly. The tissue was pinned to a cork mount and submerged in saline. Then a linear scan was carried out. And we can see from the imaging that we can differentiate the different layers um, of the esophagus using the ultrasound image. So in conclusion, all optical ultrasound um, is well suited to minimally invasive uh, imaging. I'm showing you two different paradigms using optical fibers, forward and side viewing, as well as several different imaging methods. So it look, looks like all optical ultrasound is very promising with several applications uh, in the future and new ones being explored all the time. Thank you all for listening. I just want to thank everyone who worked on this, uh, as well as all the clinical collaborators and funding bodies. And if anyone would like to work with me or has any ideas for potential applications or future projects, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.